Auckland Mayor Wayne Brown blocked some media from a budget speech today, his team only allowing entry to those who, in their words, would best convey his message. It comes as the Mayor proposes a 6.7% rates increase and the sale of the Council's $2.3 billion worth of airport shares. Nick Troubridge was there. On the outside looking in, our view on arrival at Mayor Brown's latest budget speech. Chief of Staff Max Hardy playing gatekeeper for an Auckland Mayor keen to control the message. So the situation we've found ourselves in down at Viaduct Harbour this morning is the Mayor has started his press conference but he's locked out half of the Auckland media. It's not only News Hub out here, stuff has also been locked out as well as TVNZ. Eventually, we got into what was a stakeholder speech with media Brown's team felt was best able to convey the Mayor's message. That message? Sell the airport shares. It's not scaremongering, it's scaremongering. It's just the best solution that we have. It's the only way to prevent steep rate rises, claw back community funding cuts and pay off our most expensive debt. The Mayor not exactly tactful in his attempt to get councillors on side. Quite a lot of them, in fact, are not particularly li financially literate. The Auckland Mayor proposes a rates increase of 6.7%, dependent on that airport share sale. But there's a problem with the numbers. I know seven, of which I'm one, that are indefinite for the sale. I think I know seven, probably, that I know are definitely against and have said so. I know then, so that's 14 and there's seven left because the Mayor makes 21. So today the Mayor played offence, naming and shaming a swag of councillors who signed a pledge not to lift rates above inflation. So we know who you are, we named you. I'm expecting you to honour your pledge. You're good people, you're standing up there for the thing. Walker, Watson, Fletcher and Lee. Then he was off. Do you think you have the numbers? I hope I do. With a nod from a supportive crowd, but not exactly winning favour with those who aren't yet on board. I have been pressured to support the sale of the airport shares because I've been vocal about saving um, the community function of council. There are other things that could be cut. Why aren't we talking about those? It's a $70 billion asset base. No one was out of Mayor Brown's sights on Thursday. He went off piste to attack ex mayoral race rival Viv Beck and Heart of the City over its spending on city security. Well, you had your right of reply and, you, and nobody believed it, unfortunately. <laughs> Beck later joining a chorus of Aucklanders who just want Council's $325 million budget hole filled. It's a dilemma uh, and pragmatic, sensible decisions have to be made. A dilemma turned drama. I'm not looking to use it at the moment. You were allowed it, so. With a mayoral main character. Well, kia ora, Nick. What's the reaction been to the media lockout? Yeah, good evening, Sam. We've heard from the chair of the Media Freedom Committee, that's RNZ's Richard Sutherland, this afternoon. He wrote a letter to Mayor Brown describing the day's events as troubling and pointing out something most of us know, which is that the media play a crucial role in keeping the public informed. The Mayor's office has returned serve this afternoon, basically saying that the actual reason we couldn't get in was because of a capacity issue at AT. Of course, that differs completely from what media were told earlier today today about the fact that they wanted someone who would convey the Mayor's message. They also said it wasn't a media event, also puzzling given, given some media were invited. But back to the really important stuff, which is of course this budget. Wayne Brown has been adamant that the only way to go is selling airport shares if we want to keep rates down and if we want to reduce the cuts to services that Council could be looking at. But he does not right now have the numbers. And I can tell you that yesterday I was talking to uh, an anonymous councillor who called the mayor delusional about this airport sale, said he hasn't faced up to the fact that he doesn't have the numbers and that, as of yesterday, he seemed to be coming to grips with that. Well, if he was, it was a 180 today because that is certainly the drum he is beating. We will find out later this month whether he can get it across the line or whether it will be back to the drawing board. Sam. Nick Trubridge there. Thanks for your work on this important story.